Good evening, everyone. So um, before we get into fall and fall cocktails, um, I've got maybe one or two more kind of summer cocktails that I want to get into. And tonight what I'm going to make is um, a, pal a Paloma. And I'm going to make the Paloma three different ways, including a non-alcoholic version, again, made with the seed lip spice, which I used um, in my last uh, espresso martini video. Um, and the Paloma, so the most popular Mexican cocktail in the United States, maybe even the most popular cocktail in the United States is the Margarita. Um, but reportedly the most popular cocktail in, or at least tequila cocktail in Mexico, is actually a Paloma. And a Paloma is actually a very simple drink to make. I'm going to make the alcoholic version first and I'm going to do it two different ways and then I'm going to do the non-alcoholic version. So, um, first thing I'm going to make is kind of a fussy Paloma, which is sort of the way that I like to make it, which is way more complicated than you need to do it. Um, but it incorporates fresh um, grapefruit juice, uh, whereas the normal recipe for a Paloma just calls for a grapefruit soda. And so the second one I'm going to do is going to be the more traditional, simple version with the grapefruit soda. So I'm going to do uh, first the, uh, the fussy Paloma. So I'm going to actually uh, salt the rim of a highball glass. So I've got my little salt dipper there. And then we're going to need some ice in that glass. A rogue ice cube there. And cat's getting involved <laughs> again. He doesn't want to be left out. So uh, for the first one, I'm going to make it with uh, fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. So I'm going to do two ounces of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. And I'm spilling a lot of it. And then we want tequila. I'm going to use uh, Don Julio Reposado tequila. Everything's better with cat hair. If you drink enough, you won't care. It's just like being in Mexico. I'm sure there's cats running around your cantina. So there's two ounces of uh, Don Julio Reposado tequila. And then we need some uh, lime juice. I'm gonna do about a half an ounce of lime juice. There. And we need to sweeten it up a little bit. So we're gonna do about a half an ounce of simple syrup. You can also use agave syrup. And there's our simple syrup. And then we're going to shake that with our ice. Well, I got my shaker tin with the ice. And shake that one up. Don't need to do too much of a shake. Just want to get it mixed together. And and we're going to pour it into our prepared glass with ice. There we go. And as usual, I forgot an ingredient, so we're going to the refrigerator. And we're going to get our club soda. And that's not a twist stop, so we're going to go over the opener. <laughs> and open it. And we'll take a lovely shot of well, over oh, here, all our trash our over there. <laughs> bar spoon that I didn't get before. <laughs> We're just going to top that off with some club soda. Give it a little stir. And we're going to garnish it with a lime wedge. So that's way more work than you need to do to make a Paloma, but I like the fresh squeezed uh, grapefruit juice. So that's kind of the way I like to make a Paloma. Now, more traditional recipe for a Paloma. I'm going to start with two ounces of So you made the tequila. first one with Añejo. First one, no, not Añejo, uh, Reposado. Oh, this time I'm going with a Blanco tequila, which is, I think, a little more traditional, although Reposado is good too. So we're going to do two ounces right in the glass. Uh, this is Don Julio also, that's their Blanco tequila. Then uh, you want a little bit of salt. So instead of salting the rim all fancy, you can just throw a pinch of salt right into the glass. And then we want some lime. So just take a half a lime and squeeze it right in the glass. 
get the juice out of a half a lime. And then just drop the lime in there. Then we're gonna go with our grapefruit soda. You can use, uh, you want a soda, you don't want like a seltzer. You want something that's actually, like there are Mexican brands that you probably can't get in the US that are popular down there for Palomas. I think actually the most popular thing to use for a Paloma is squirt. But um, what I'm using is uh, made by Q, who makes tonic waters and things like that. This is a sparkling grapefruit. A lot of times I'll make it with a grapefruit Izzy or um, San Pellegrino makes a nice uh, grapefruit soda as well. So any of those will do. And that's it, it's a simple uh, tequila, grapefruit soda and lime. You give that a little stir. So there's alcoholic version number two, kind of a pretty pink color. Now we're gonna do the uh, zero proof version of a Paloma, which actually they call a Panoma. And I should get a different shot glass because we don't want to contaminate our drink with tequila. So uh, it's sea lip spice, which I uh, used before to make an espresso martini or an espresso martino. And you want two ounces of that. And again, you're building it right in the glass. This one will be interesting because that's the spice and it's the got, Yeah, it's a very like uh, clove, cinnamon. It'll be an interesting thing. And then we want an ounce of grapefruit juice. Again, fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Ooh, ounce of that. Then we need some lime juice, about a half an ounce, I think. Yes, half an ounce of lime juice. So it's pretty similar to the uh, kind of the fussy first version that I made, except that it doesn't have any alcohol in it. And then we want to sweeten it up a little bit, so we want some simple syrup. So there's a half ounce of simple syrup going in there as well. There. And then you want to top it off with uh, your regular plain club soda. So we're going to top that up. There's someone in the shot. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. Look how beautiful. Look that. That's a beautiful cat. El Gato Supremo. Yeah. At times. At times. Well, yes. And then uh, garnish on this is a uh, uh, grapefruit twist. So I took a little thin uh, peel of our grapefruit that I squeezed. And we're just going to twist it over the glass. Give it a rub on there. Drop it on in there. So there's our... Three ways, yes. All the way, kitty. Vamos, El Gato. Three different Palomas. And I'm not sure which one we want to try. I bet we're both very curious about yeah, the Yeah, I'm curious about version. that one. So let's give that a try. Oh, yeah. With the spice. Very refreshing. It's really, it's with the grapefruit and the spice, I, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> a little slurp. <laughs> don't don't slurp it all down. Drinking problems. That think? is good. Right? That, yeah. yeah, that it's is very refreshing. That's a good one. Yeah. See, you oh. thought the spice would be that's better than weird your... with the juices because they do make a citrus one. But that's a good it one. Definitely worked. And this is your very traditional grapefruit soda version, which, of course, is excellent with the. Don Julio Blanco. Of course, always and my, good. And my fancy fussy version. Which, which one do you like better? The fussy still, that's still my favorite thing. But this is easy to make, and it's a great drink that you can, if you're having a party, you can uh, let people make their own and give them the glasses and the ice, leave out the bottle of tequila, leave out the uh, grapefruit soda, and some limes, and people can just make their own because it's a very simple drink. So, cheers to cheers. Uh, Palomas three ways. This is your